In what way is their collection more than just a hobby? In what way is their collection more than just a hobby? Can you describe that? In what way Jan Hugo's passion or collection is more than just a hobby? It's easy to answer. Now she earns money through this collection. It is not just a collection. It is a source of income for income. Her. So it is not just a collection, obviously. Her house has a special uh, reputation now. People come from different places to visit her house to see the collection. Okay. What about uh, David Adria Andriani? Is his collection more than just a collection? More than just a hobby? More than just a hobby? Yes, he turns it into a business. He and... turned it into a business. Yeah. How? Uh, he swapped the cans from all over the world. And uh, with that, he can, uh, I mean, in exchange of some money, I guess. So mm. he is also making some money from it. So it's not just an uh, it's, Do you it's think not the just a hobby. Really tell you more clearly how he earns his money, because I didn't get a clear picture how he earns his money. I heard the word swap. I heard the word swapping the cans, but I didn't understand how he can earn money from it. You know what I mean. So can you explain? You read about the can collectors. How is it more than just a hobby? He has a Guinness World Record. Okay. Okay, interesting. People who hold a record uh, earn some money as well. Okay. Oh, yeah, fine. I get it. Good point. Okay, it helped you get some recognition. Okay, it's not just a hobby anymore. What about the girls? Sorry, the Barbie doll collectors, uh, Bettina and Gian. Is this just a hobby for them or more than in some ways it is? The collection is more than just a hobby. Um, Bettina uh, runs a hospital. Bettina is not a, only a collector. Bettina doesn't only collect the dolls. She also a Barbie doctor. Uh, she has a, a Barbie hospital in her kitchen. Uh, she repairs broken Barbies from all over the world. Okay. All right. So in a way, she earns some money by repairing the Barbie dolls. A lot of children, I think, would send their Barbies because... They can, they can have another Barbie, but the first Barbie they got may have some emotional value for them, and they wouldn't like to lose that doll. So maybe, makes sense, okay? Mm. And for Gian, how does he, for him, is he just a hobby or anything more than a hobby? All right. Now we have some numbers here. Can you tell me what does the, these numbers... What do these numbers refer to? Yes, sir. There is one lakh coin set, and they spent they spent one lakh dollar coin to to turn their house into a museum. Hmm. I think now I should create rooms where you guys will talk to each other about the you know about your person, about your collector and everything else through these stories, share for five minutes, and then we will meet after the breakout session and we will read the text together. So Sahil, Mayank, and uh, Rukaya, they should be in one room because they studied, so they can share, they can exchange. Arish, Raki, and Saurav, you guys can just have a chit chat or maybe you can discuss whatever you want to. Okay, I'm opening the rooms for you guys. <clears throat>
Yeah, it is drinking water. There are two words I want to teach you, portable and edible. Portable and edible. Portable and edible. Portable, P-O-T-A-B-L-E. Portable and edible, E-D-I-B-L-E. So use these words um, for food and drinks. Portable drink, portable water, drinking water. Edible things, things that you can put in your mouth and eat. Okay, edible oil, because there are all kinds of oils. Some oils cannot be eaten. So edible oils means the oil that can be consumed. Got it? Oil that can be consumed is, uh, yeah, edible oil. Hey, Ravi, um, we have created breakout rooms. I'm going to put you in a room where you can have a little conversation with people. Okay, sir.
Welcome back, everybody. Oh, not everybody is back yet, but yeah, welcome back. I'm back. You are. And so is everybody now. <laughs> so I guess. Hello, sir. Can... Yes. Sir, I have a question. Uh, yes. As you said a few seconds ago, uh, you are back. So or are so, so all is are. So is everybody. So, yes, sir. So is every. I I feel confused sometimes. Where do we use so? So is a like a sir. It's a conjunction, but I feel confused. Could you please explain it? How no. can I say? How can I say two two sentences with adding so? I just did. <laughs> You said, I said, Arish, is, Arish, you said, I'm back. I said, yes, you are. And so is everybody. What did I say? What was that Hindi? Tell Hindi, me the Hindi, I... Arish. Uh, uh, Hindi? Yes. Jo hua abhi bachit, jo iski Hindi, wo bachit Hindi mein. Hum baapas aage. Uh, aage. Haan, tum Haan, tum to aage. Aage. Haan. Ar baaki log Ar... bhi aage. <laughs> baaki log bhi aage. <laughs> Sir, it's totally different. Yeah. But look, it's Hindi both alagya. English and Hindi are two different languages. Sir. Yeah. Yes, Sahil. So, sir, I, so also, also, I also wrote a sentence and I, I texted you private privately, sir, and it was it was about um passive sentence and you said that you would reply in the last sir. So oh, would yes. you like to reply? I come after that, so I forgot about it. Okay. The yeah. only thing I want to tell you is the sentence is grammatically mm. correct, but yeah. but mm. some words it needs to be rephrased so that it can make better sense. So can you say it? Okay, I'll I'll go to that. First of all, I would like to re remind Arish. Arish, take a look at this. Yes, sir. Sasha likes going to the cinema. And so does Bill. And so does Bill. Remember studying this in the elementary course? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sasha likes going to the cinema. And so does Bill. Bill also so likes Bill. going to the cinema. You are back. Arish, you are back. So is everybody. And so is everybody. So we use this pattern to say the same thing about another subject. Here, the first sentence, Sasha likes going to the cinema. This statement is about Sasha. What do we know about Sasha? Yes. She likes going to the cinema. We cinema. use the word so to make the same statement about another person, about another subject. So does Bill. Sasha likes going to the cinema. So does every woman. Sasha likes going to the cinema. So does every so woman. Does every... Okay. Now, I would like to answer Sahil's question. Sahil, your conversation yes. was, I think, on Telegram. Yes, I can tell you, sir, if you want. I have the sentence right in front of me. <laughs> there. Uh, the selfish people will be removed from my life like the followers have been removed from my Insta. There is no grammatical error in the sentence. What you want to say is... <laughs> Please tell me in Hindi. In my life, we will remove the Insta followers Wow. <laughs> Thank you. The selfish people in my self the selfish people will be removed from my life like the followers have been removed from my Insta. Uh, so, you followers or selfish followers? I, I, of course, sir. I like sentence, say, yeah, quite a thing, yeah, quite grammatical error. Yeah, you problem, can I sentence me? No, actually, I have, I had dot, dot, sir. This is a where, good, where, right which part was causing the doubt. Yeah, but it's a problem, yeah, the students get the mark, man. Oh, yeah, never thought about it, yeah, doubt, but some good doubt out there. ये उनके लो कॉन्फिडेंस का खाली नतीजा है अगर मैंने पूछ दिया कहां डाउट है 
तो बताए कि ये वाला हिस्सा ऐसे हो सकता है क्या हाँ बताओ भाई कहाँ से डाउट हुआ सेल्फ ताकि सामने वाले को पता चले की कौन से हिस्से में उसको परेशानी हो रही है अपना क्वेश्चन प्रिसाइज बनाना इज अ बिग बिग अबिलिटी ठीक है कि मुझे कहा प्रॉब्लम है आप बत, बत, अप, अप, अपने क्वेश्चन को क्लियर रखते हैं यू नो टू द पॉइंट पर्टिनेंट कर, कर देते हैं अपने क्वेश्चन को कि exactly ये पूछ रहे हम तो एब्सोल्युटली करेक्ट अपने कहा द सेल्फिश पीपल विल बी रिमूव्ड फ्रॉम माय लाइफ लाइक द फॉलोअर्स वर रिमूव्ड लाइक द फॉलोअर्स हैव बीन रिमूव्ड दोनों ही सही है और दोनों अपना अपना अलग सेंस देंगे जब प्रेजेंट परफेक्ट यूज करते हैं तो वो न्यूज के तौर पे काम होता है एक रीसेंट एक्शन व्हिच हैज अ रिजल्ट इन द प्रेजेंट राइट और पास्ट सिंपल फिनिश्ड एक्शन को रेफर करता है तो इफ यू राइट वर रिमूव्ड इट विल रेफर टू इट एज ए फिनिश्ड एक्शन इन द पास्ट एंड इफ यू यूज द प्रेजेंट परफेक्ट देन इट विल सजेस्ट दैट यू हैव रिसेंटली डन इट एंड इट हैज एन इंपैक्ट ऑन योर लाइफ नाउ कि परहैप्स यू आर मोर peaceful or things like that okay so both the tenses will be absolutely grammatically correct somewhere they will mean something else because again past simple is not used to refer to a recent action which has a result in the present past simple is used to talk about a finished action in the past khatam ho gaya kaam ho gaya present perfect is used to refer to a finished action in the past which has a result in the present ओके, फाइन नाउ हम्म सो where were where were we we were going to read the text now we have half an hour 20 minutes let's read the text you got your answer sahil yes sir okay Arish? yes sir i am okay let's read the text one, one sentence about the whole controversy i am not talking about it on purpose it's not that i it's not running at the back of my mind it's con con continuously running at the back of my mind what has happened recently lately in the class but just want to say one thing i know about myself that i was never perfect i will never be perfect but what i like about myself is once i realize something is not really going in my favor i'm very flexible and i do not allow my ego my anything to get in my way of correction i believe in improving myself correcting myself and i honestly feel that i was unfair to the, my students here in the class that's why i wrote in the pre intermediate i need to revisit my approach because i totally totally felt that i was not being as professional as i normally believe i am i had that realization and um, and i know you guys are all here to to for that professional teacher you have always known and um, it will not take me a lot of efforts it's going to be very easy because i'm really passionate about my job and uh, sometimes you are blindsided by something else for but again if you know your passion is true then you will soon realize it i think it is high time i just realized what i am truly passionate about <laughs> it has been going on recently that's why i said being in a rut what does that mean being in a rut being in a rut rut is a gap okay तो गाड़ी चलती रहती है 
और अगर गलती से पहिया रट में आ जाए यानी गड्ढे में आ जाए तो कुछ भी कर ले उसी में चलती रहती है ऊपर नहीं आ पाती इट इज कॉल्ड बींग इन रट वो लिटरल मीनिंग है उसको फिगरेटिवली यूज करते हैं लाइफ में बींग इन रट इट मीन्स किसी ऐसे सिचुएशन में आ जाना जिससे बाहर नहीं आ पा रहे आप चाह रहे हैं आप गड्ढे में वो छक्का चला रहता है तो आप चाहते हो उसी में चलता रहता है चलता रहता है वो गड्ढा बना उसी के साथ चल रहा है आप चाहते हो उसको बाहर निकालना बट यू फाइंड इट डिफिकल्ट तो यस एक्नोलेजमेंट इज द फर्स्ट इन और स्टेप तो यू नो या दैट्स व्हाट आई एम सेइंग दैट आई एम अ वेरी फ्लेक्सिबल पर्सन आई हैव ऑलवेज बीन दैट्स माय स्ट्रेंथ एंड आई नो व्हाट माय प्रायोरिटीज आर लेट्स कंटिन्यू not at all not at all arish i mean uh, it's only like i realize that i have not been fair to my rest of my students you know certain students and i have had a long time together and we developed a certain kind of rapport rapport with each other i don't share that rapport with you but i share that rapport with somebody else in particular rizvi the problem is when he is in the class i should understand that it's not me and him only we are with a lot of people i mean we guys are very strange people mo- both of us you know very strange you guys would be shocked to see the way we talk after the class is over and uh, i i have not been uh, very sensitive to your needs you know i got carried away with my emotions and i again forgot my main priority and it has been going on for quite some time so yes it will be different for sure the class will be as much fun as it as it has always been but i realized that's why i did not write one word against rizvi because it is not his fault at all i need you know sometimes what happens provocations statements har cheez ko na ek perspective me liya jana zaruri hai aur aadmi i had a long conversation with my wife today over this okay i i again mera ego itna bada nahi hai dost chahe main kitna bhi aage ja raha hu teaching mein kuch bhi ho raha ho kitni umar meri badh jaye doesn't matter मेरा ईगो कभी मुझे अपनी गलतियों को मानने से एक्सेप्ट नहीं करता है ये बात मुझे कल रियलाइज हुई बीच कॉन्वर्सेशन में रिजवी के साथ यू नो एंड ही हैड अग्रीड दैट ही वुड नॉट वी ही नो नथिंग नीड्स टू चेंज इट वाज समथिंग दैट वी डिड नॉट डिसाइड दैट ही वुड लीव बट ही हैज डन दैट आई अंडरस्टैंड इट्स ओके द रॉयल मेमोरेबिलिया कलेक्टर सरप्राइजिंग पैशंस 57 year old jan hugo you know um he's trying to get in sakib but his internet you guys did not need a passcode did you when you click the link uh i'm sharing the link okay but what's the point everybody is already in here without using a passcode rizvi is sorry sakib is getting um, a certain window where he is asked to write the passcode to get into the meeting he needs the passcode i don't know why i think it is just poor internet connection sometimes it happens with certain individuals okay a royal memorabilia collector memorabilia we have already talked about memorabilia right 57 year old jan hugo again i will highlight this guys for all of you it is not years look at the pattern If I ask how old is Jan Hugo, you will, without a doubt, say he is. So she is fifty-seven years old. You will always say that fifty-seven years old. But here, because it is part of the phrase as an adjective before a noun, when an adjective is used before a noun, adjectives can be used in two places: before a noun and after be verb. 
let's un understand beautiful girl a beautiful girl came to my shop okay a beautiful girl came to my shop a beautiful girl here be beautiful is before the word girl and i can say a girl came to my uh, shop she was beautiful now here beautiful has been used for the girl but the girl was beautiful it is after be verb right so listen very carefully in english these are the two ways adjectives are used one before a noun we call it attributive use of adjectives we call it because it comes before the noun so it is called attributive and when it comes after be verb because it comes in the part which is called complement so we call it, call it um sorry pre predic predicative it comes in the part of predicate so we call it predicative use attributive predicative predicate you know predicate predicate a sentence can be broken into two parts subject and the predicate for example she is walking in this sentence she is the subject and is walking is the predicate i am not talking about that in this sentence i is the subject and everything else i am not talking about that everything else is predicate so a sentence can be broken into two parts subject and the predicate all sentences can be broken into two parts the subject and the predicate subject and the predicate when the adjective is part of the subject before a noun okay it is called attributive use of the adjective and when it is part of the predicate then it is called the predicative use so a beautiful girl came to my shop okay in this sentence beautiful is attributively used here before the noun girl so when the adjective is before the noun it is attributive use and when it is after be verb it is predicative predicative so here 57 year old jan hugo 57 year old is being used as an adjective which use of adjective attributively Attributive. or predict predicatively how has it been used attributively attributively it has been used here so whenever you use these expressions attributively you have sim singular noun here not pl plural years but when it becomes predicative jan hugo is 57 years old the hyphen goes out and s comes back two years 57 years old 57 year old jan hugo's passion is the british royal family her passion is the british royal family she's very interested in the british royal family jan from hunter valley australia oh she's not english she is australian she is from the hunter valley australia has been collecting royal memorabilia things which are related to the royal family royal mem memorabilia since 1981 and has now collected over 10000 pieces the collection fills four rooms in her home where she lives with her husband david who calls himself calls himself her royal servant <laughs> okay jan says her passion is started by chance when they were given commemorative coin for prince charles and da diana's engagement you misunderstood this they did not go to a wedding they did not go to a wedding you got that answer wrong you know they were given they were given matlab unhone diya ki unko diya gaya pehle ye decide kiya gaya they gave unko diya gaya all right they were given unko diya gaya unhone diya they gave all right they were given a commemorative coin a commemorative commemorative adjective is used to say in the memory of something in the memory of something commemorative okay a commemorative coin was a co is a coin which is in the memory of something okay and what is that something it is mentioned after four a commemorative coin 
for Prince Charles and Diana's engagement. It means that coin was minted, that coin was created. Coins are minted. Mint is the verb for coin. Mint. Mint. M-I-N-T. Mint means pudina, of course. Mint is as a verb means to make. What do you mint? You mint coins. Okay. Money minting machine. <laughs> Money minting machine. <laughs> okay. Paisa chapne ka machine. Okay. Um, so what was I talking about? A commemorative coin. Anything that is commemorative. It is an adjective. So it will be describing a noun. So whenever the word commemorative comes, it means in the memory of something. Because commemoration, okay, means memory, okay. So commemorative as an adjective. A commemorative coin. You see, when something special happens, to make that event memorable, people, you know, governments mint coins for that particular event, okay. So commemorative. Now, imagine this. A party was given in the memory of something. An event is organized in the memory of some. So it can be called an, a commemorative party, a commemorative event, okay? So a commemorative coin. They were given a commemorative coin. And what was that uh, coin in the memory of? It was in the memory of Prince Charles and Diana's engagement. It was minted for that occasion. All right. To make that occasion memorable. Whoever will look at that coin, they will know, oh, it was minted for that particular occasion. So for Prince Charles and Diana's engagement. It means that coin will have Prince Charles maybe. That coin will have Diana maybe. Okay. Diana. Okay. They have now spent over a hundred thousand pounds. They have now spent this much money on the collection because these things do not come free. They, you know, people have to pay money to get those, you know, pieces, memorabilia. They have spent over 100,000 pounds and turned their, their house into a museum. Turn their house into a museum. Turn left and right is enough? No, that's not enough. That is one meaning of turn. I will turn you into a mouse if you don't listen to me. I will turn you into a mouse magically if you don't listen to me, if you don't obey me, okay? Mm. When I'm hungry, I turn into a monster. When I'm hungry, I turn into a monster. Okay, hunger turns me into a monster, okay? They turn their house into a museum. David, who has a passion of his own, he also has a passion. And what is his passion? Passion of his own. Right. Hmm. In some societies, some people don't have a wife of their own. They have to make, make do with, um, <laughs> with a, <laughs> a common wife. For two, three men in some societies, you know, actually women, you see, poly, polyandry, polyandry, it is called. In some societies, polyandry is common where, you know, women can have multiple husbands. So they will have a common wife, not a wife of their own. In India, everybody has a wife of his own, right? Nobody else can have the right. But in some societies, some tribes and all, husbands don't have a wife of their Sir, own. we don't have time. Uh, we are going to be cut off. So let's end this. We will continue. We will continue without... We often go without saying goodbye. So let's say goodbye and let's continue. Bye, sir. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. Not good night. goodbye, sir. Good night. Only bye. Good night. Bye, sir. Good night. Good night. We can say goodbye as well, bro. Bye, sir. Take care. Good night. Bye, sir. Good night.